let's move on to talk about new 5GC as we wrap up this podcast. So new 5GC seems to come up every few years when someone on YouTube does a video about it. <laughs> like it's a new thing, but we've known about it for quite some time and it doesn't seem to be a problem for humans. And I'll tell you why. New 5GC is a sialic acid. There is uh, no new 5GC in our bodies. There is an enzyme that makes new 5GC from a compound in our bodies that we do have, new 5AC called CMAH. As I mentioned in this podcast, that enzyme was lost two to three million years ago. We don't fully understand why, probably due to some sort of protection from infectious insults. But new 5GC is very similar to new 5AC, different in one atom. And the hypothesis goes that because we don't have new 5GC in our bodies, when we eat new 5GC in the meat that we are eating, we develop antibodies to new 5GC, and that could lead to increased rates of colon cancer or other cancers in humans. Well, there's some pretty interesting research looking at high levels of anti-new 5GC antibodies in patients receiving kidney transplants. I'm not sure how anyone can talk about new 5GC as a problem when they see papers like this one, no increase in colon cancer risk following induction with new 5GC bearing rabbit anti T cell IgG in recipients of kidney transplants. I'll break it down for you guys. When people get kidney transplants in the United States, they get rabbit anti T cell IgG, which is a collection of immunoglobulins. And there is new 5GC in there because it's from rabbits who have new 5GC which leads to humans who are receiving these kidney transplants and get this anti-T cell IgG therapy to develop many more new 5GC antibodies. And so we can look at that portion of the population in this controlled group of kidney transplant recipients and see that there is no increased risk of colon cancer in those people, which essentially debunks the notion that new 5GC is harmful for humans at all. As you can see here from the abstract, we took advantage of the evidence that rabbit IgG elicits an immune response against new 5GC, consulted a large database of allograft recipients, that is kidney transplant recipients, um, based on this data from 173,960 and 38,505 patients without and with ATG induction respectively, we found no evidence that exposure to higher levels of anti-new 5GC is associated with a higher incidence of colon cancer you'd probably have to eat a lot of red meat to get levels of anti-new 5GC, IgG, or antibodies that these kidney transplant recipients had. But nevertheless, then the follow-up from them, there was no increased rate of colon cancers. Furthermore, we can look to the animal kingdom, something that Western medicine um, doesn't do very often, but I find quite revealing. Ferrets are part of a family of animals called mustelids. And ferrets do not have new 5GC, similar to humans. They've also lost the ability to create that sialic acid from new 5AC or other precursor sialic acids. Now, ferrets eat animals with new 5GC in them. They eat voles and mice and rabbits, perhaps, animals with new 5GC. So here we have a model of an animal like humans without new 5GC eating animals with new 5GC. And according to the zoologist that I consult, uh, ferrets are not going extinct from cancers of any type due to this aberrant consumption of new 5GC in their prey. So there are numerous lines of evidence that point to the idea that new 5GC is not harmful for humans. If you don't know what new 5GC is, don't worry about it. If you've heard about it and you've heard people say it's harmful for humans, challenge them with that evidence and see what comes out in the mix. I don't think they'll have any answers for it. Why would something that has been at the center of the human diet for hundreds of thousands of years and pre-hominid evolution uh, was a critical factor in that as well, be harmful for humans. 